it really isn't the NFL without an insane trade request happening at some point during the season. Well, we just got that with Devonte Adams requesting a trade to with from the Las Vegas Raiders, and this news broke from Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter, and I essentially want to give my thoughts about it first, and then go into potential teams that could really use him. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Soulback Sports, and I'm so back with another video. And you know, this is crazy in itself that Devonte Adams is potentially on the move again. But not very surprising because of all the turmoil that has happened and the inability to have a structured and sound offense to compete for a championship. And Devontae Adams is at the breaking point now where he is in a crossroads where, okay, do I really want to stick with this team or use my talents that are the years that I have left for a championship or be fighting or in the playoffs contending for a championship and let's take it back to you know the, his days in green bay because for real this dude was the bane of my existence alongside aaron Rodgers. his right essentially rogers right hand man when it comes to you know terrorizing the nfc north and listen his decision to leave the green bay packers seemed pretty reasonable at the time because of all the aaron Rodgers drama that was stirred up and his like essentially in the dark of am I really going to be playing with Aaron Rodgers or should I bail and essentially he took a chance and said okay this seems like Rodgers like is taking too long I need to make a move myself and he had then decided to take a contract and get paid by the Las Vegas Raiders and at the time it seemed like okay this is a very out of left field move but there was really reasons to believe that you know the Raiders were going to do stuff with Devontae Adams Devontae was going to be playing with Derek Carr who was a teammate or his quarterback back when they were in college and the whole situation with Derek Carr when happened and Derek Carr ended up being benched and eventually leaving the team and then this past 2023 season he was left with carousel of quarterbacks in Aiden O'Connell I don't even remember the other quarterback that was there, but it did not look good with also some pretty bad coaching from Josh McDaniel, who ended up getting fired for Antonio Pierce as the interim head coach. And then Antonio Pierce becoming the head coach. And listen, Las Vegas Raiders are synonymous with being, you know, not a great like organization as of right now, because they've been through drama, through turmoil with the head coaching, their owners kind of very on and off. Like, you, there's so much things that go wrong that make you really puzzled why Devontae Adams really chose the Las Vegas Raiders in the first place. And now we are fast forward to October 1st of 2024, where he's like, I'm done. I had enough. The two years experiment is over. I need a new place to utilize my talents properly. And listen, there are a lot of teams that could utilize Devontae Adams. I know for sure that Aaron Rodgers would be very much happy to have him back, but, you know, it could honestly very much happen. So, listen, enough of me talking about this. Let's get into the three teams I believe are going to, you know, make a push for Devontae Adams' talent. And, you know, essentially these teams are also, my opinion, what will be the best fit for Devontae going forward. And to start off, let's start with the Baltimore Ravens. And listen, Baltimore is start having a young wide receiver group, you know, with Zay Flowers becoming a stud. Uh, Nelson Aguilar has been in the league for quite some time. Rashad Bateman in his like second or third year. You know, that's a tight wide receiver core. But, you know, with the Devontae Adams, I think that their passing game could also be enhanced further. They clearly got the run game really well because they got Derrick Henry, who has been a stud for them, and Lamar Jackson as a two running, the, the running game tandem that they are. And listen, Todd Munkin is a pretty solid offensive coordinator, and he could really utilize uh, Devontae Adams to pair alongside Zay Flowers and be able to kind of, you know, make keep the defense guessing and you know, and give Lamar Jackson another weapon to 
make a push for the playoffs. And essentially, the thing about the Ravens is they want to find ways to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. And I think that this is an opportunity for them to make a move that's, you know, out of the ordinary and make the team better in like in reality. So listen, it, how a realistic that is going to be, it's not that's not the point of this video. I'm just saying in terms of, you know, fit. And I think that Devontae Adams could be a really good mentor for Zay Flowers and the young wide receiver core that they're trying to build. And that brings me to my next team that I believe is going to make a push and that is the Pittsburgh Steelers. So the Steelers have been trying to get Brandon Ayuk for so long in this past offseason. It's it was a whole song and dance about, oh, we're gonna we're in the process of talks with him, yada yada yada, you know. But things ended up not working out and Brandon Ayuk pretty much just signed with the team that pretty much gave him the original offer and things just fell through. And listen, nothing to knock at the Steelers, you know, wide receiver core, but they could definitely use some help, especially with the wide receivers, because they not only got rid of Deontay Johnson to the Carolina Panthers, but they're looking to add an elite wide receiver to pair along with that run game. So listen, Justin Fields right now seems to be the apparent starter. And let's say, you know, Russ Wilson also, you have two solid quarterbacks that could throw to you down the line. And I think that you know, if you want to make a push for the playoffs and make a deep run, especially in a very deep AFC AFC conference, you have to make a move like get a Devontae Adams. And I think that the Devontae Adams move could be very beneficial for Justin Fields and Mike Tomlin in the offense because Arthur Smith, say what you want about him as the head coach, but he is a pretty solid offensive coordinator. He's helped a lot and he's helped Justin Fields as of right now become more careful when it comes to the turnovers. Yes, the fumbles still exist, but you see clear improvements every single game. And I think a wide receiver like Devontae Adams could be a pair very well with Justin Fields and, you know, a George Pickens on the other side. And you're kind of seeing a pattern. Like you have a really stud wide receiver. And the thing is, George Pickens is a young wide receiver still. He's like, what, three years into the league? And he could really utilize that help and having Devonte Adams take the pressure off George Pickens and, you know, gets him more open as well. And you have the run game too, that's trying to develop and it only adds to your offense. I think this could help catapult them into the conversation of, you know, they're pretty much in the conversation of fighting for that division spot, but also, you know, potentially for a deep playoff run. And finally, it leads me to the first point, which I think could very well happen due to how desperately the situation is in on this team. But before I get into that, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you made it this far into this video. I really appreciate it. And, you know, help me out. Get, help me reach to 550 subscribers by the end of the month. And for my number one team, I'm going to say and it's been pretty much around the league right now, that the Kansas City Chiefs will be the best option for Devontae Adams. And I know I personally don't want Devontae Adams to go, and I'm pretty sure the AFC West as well does not want him anywhere near the Kansas City Chiefs for their own mental health and their own reasons because they don't want to see their division rival go potentially win a third championship in three years, completing that three-peat. But if Devontae Adams wants to win a championship and, you know, have any semblance of reaching the Super Bowl, this is your best shot because you have Patrick Mahomes as your quarterback. You have Travis Kelsey as your tight end, as your second receiver, essentially. And they have needs when it comes to the wide receiver room because they're what's who's their next best option? Juju Smith-Schuster or Sky Moore? Like, that's not going to cut it, especially with Rishi Rice. And I mean, Marquise Hollywood Brown is coming back potentially soon. But, you know, you want to have a pretty solid wide receiver group going into fighting for a potential Super Bowl. And that is why I think that, you know, it makes the most sense for Devontae Adams to go. But not necessarily from a logistics standpoint, because they he is again going to a division rival. And how willing the 
Las Vegas Raiders will eventually trade him. Honestly, wouldn't put it past him because that would be type the type of move that the Las Vegas Raiders would make because they they have a disgruntled wide receiver and what is the point at this point? And get some compensation out of it, even if it is to a division rival. But yeah, I guess an honorable mention. I know it's like I already said my top three, but an honorable mention is like the reunion between him and Aaron Rodgers on the Jets. I just think that it won't probably happen because they already have a lot of issues from a structural and a coaching standpoint that need to be addressed before they bring in Devontae Adams. And I don't think, you know, as much as it would be like pretty cool to see Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers reunite from when they were back in Green Bay, you know, the the whole point is to make a Super Bowl or make a playoff run. Let's have the team. It's just that I think that they're holding themselves back. Uh, there's definitely some tension between Robert Sala and Aaron Rodgers. And Nathaniel Hackett isn't necessarily a great offensive coordinator or offensive mind. And, you know, I think that the situation in the, on the Jets seems to be like kind of an illusion, like that they're really good, which they are. Don't get me wrong. They have a great defense. They have a young core of for a running back and a wide receiver. And Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall. Like they have the talent. It's just that I think that it's going to take, you know, with an aging Aaron Rodgers, it's going to be a little bit difficult to eventually capitalize on it and especially make a run in a very competitive AFC conference. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about my list. Uh, do will you add another team? Is there another team that could be potentially interested in Devontae Adams that I missed? Let me know down in the comments below. I love to read what you guys have to say. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Podcast episodes come out every Tuesdays and Thursdays. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.